these are sort of, these are part of your basics, okay? And they're going to lead to a more difficult elements, i.e., you will have an after or a filter, or maybe even a release. Okay? So I want, I want you to pay attention to body position, I want you to pay attention to the rhythm of the circles and head position. Okay? Because what did you notice on the first circles? They were small circles. What did you notice? Did she stretch completely out of the circle? No, because she was controlling the body position. She wasn't throwing the legs out into free space. Okay? But on the last ones, when she went from handstand to handstand, what body positions did you see? So there was handstand, which is what? A straight line. Very good. The next position was what? Horizontal or planche, remember planche? The one, two, three girls? And then there was a deep pipe. Very good. Okay. okay. Girls, don't you remember Romy also had our best back and roller handstand this afternoon as well? It's no coincidence that she's got a beautiful clear here and she did her floor basic handstands correctly. It's all related. So what I'm trying to show you is if, if your coaches have a vision in their mind of what the skill looks like and they try to teach you that vision. So I'm, I'm trying to show you so you can see the best ones that I've seen here, some of the best, and carry that picture in your mind of what it should look like. So now we'll look at Stalwart.
attack the giant, and slay the giant. There we go. There we go. Okay, thank you very much, Dennis. I was very impressed with your work ethic while you were here. I'd like to let everybody try to be 